Hello guys, uh, this is MemasterGamerJB, I'm just coming with a, my first tutorial for you guys. This is Gary's Mod, which you can purchase on Steam. Run off the... It's a, the game is run off the Half-Life 2 engine. And right now, it's, this is just sandbox where you build a lot of stuff, you know, all that stuff, and yeah. Um, I'm going to teach you how to build the wire uh, plane. I make it with, I think it's one, two, three, seven thrusters. Yep, it, it's my method. Um, I don't like to use others because I like mine the most because I like thrusters. If I knew how to use fin and all that, I would use it. But you know, you know, I, I like thrusters to be honest. See, so, yeah, I'll just give you a little demo. Uh, let's just spawn the camera. This one is just um, normal thrusters. See, it flies nice and smoothly. And as you can see, I put uh, trails on it, and you know, yeah. Uh, and this one's the same, but but this is with wire, which you can control with shift by accelerating and W A S D W to go down and S to pull up, A to roll left and D to roll right. This is a very simple contra contraption. And anyone can do it if you are listening. Cool. By the way, guys, if you don't have wire, I suggest you get it because it will help you if you want to build lots of really good stuff like mechs, um, cars, planes, trains, whatever you like, like that. Wire is a really great option. I'll put a link in the description, and yeah, pretty much it. Alright, so we've got that. What you need is you go down to general construction props. I think it's you need to grab two of these, the models hunter plates one one by one and one by two. So two of each. And you just need one of the plain stems, which is I think should have figured this out before I made it. And it's Yep, it's the zero, it's the five by six by five. Zero five by six, but yeah, you know. So first I just want you to set it up like that and set these up. Set they're all straight. Okay, easy precision. You can use easy weld if you don't have easy precision, but I also suggest you get easy precision and smart snap because that helps where you can it's very precise, but you know. Uh, click here. And here. Yeah. These props here are just to balance the plane out. And yeah. So just do exactly what I'm doing. Good. Now that's done. What I want you to do, if you have smart constraint, um, just left click and you know, ooh, that would be, ooh. whoops, let's just undo all of them, smart constraint is really good as well, do not get smart world because it's very glitchy, but smart constraint is fantastic, alright, So, yep. Uh, just get that and right click and it should all weld together. If you have normal weld, just, you know, weld all the pieces together. So you got that now. Um, also, you need weight tool for this. The weights you need is 100 for the stem, 50 for the two front plates, and 30 for the two back plates. The reason is, you drop it, it doesn't tilt off to one side. Well, it tilts off to the back, but at least it does it nice and slowly. Okay. Now, go into your... Uh, actually, get vehicles out. Get a jeep sheet. Weld tool. Weld it facing that way. And that's basically it for that. 
go into your wire tab, uh, go down to under wire I slash O, advanced pod controller, place one just behind the seat. With the tool, right click the pod controller and right click the chair. So now they are linked, so whenever you get in it, uh, the pod controller should turn green if you can see it from that distance, but you know, that means it's active whenever you go into that seat. Cool. Now the thrusters you need. <clears throat> Seven thrusters is one for um, acceleration, two for stabilizing, two for pull, and two for rolling. Make sense? Oh, yep. Yeah, I'll just put some effects on it. Just put some smoke. And for the rest, I'll just put none. And that is right here. The next is you need 300, and that goes... Uh, 300 goes right on the edges. Which This is your rolling ones. Yep. The next is 750. Seven fifty, which goes into the in the middle of the plates, and the next I think is five hundred, which are your uh, stabilization uh, thrusters. You place at the front here, right in right next to the stem, right there. Now you only need one more little contraption, which is you go up under wire control, go to gates. If you've got this set up, you go under arithmetic. Seeing as subtract may not. Um, show up at the bottom, click string dates, gates and it will appear. Easy. Choose a chip you want and just place it in between these two. <clears throat> now the thing is with um, wire thrusters, um, it only goes one way if you're just wiring it straight to where, like straight to the advanced pod controller. If you press that button it will only go one way. With this it makes it it outputs two values, the positive value and the negative value, if you know what I mean. So like if A equals one, then like say you have your thruster at 50 force. If A equals one on the subtract chip, thrust will equal 50. If A, if B equals one, thrust will equal negative 50. And that's your pull and pull, push. So, wire the 750 one to the chip, 750 to the chip. Now wire your right, your right uh, roll to the advanced, uh, advanced pod controller A, and your left to D. And you wire the stabilizer, which is the 500 one, to shift. and your back one to shift. And last but not least, since you wired your um, pull and push to the chip, wire A to S and B to W. Now your your contraption, it should be completely finished. Um, now, all it is, your controls. Once you get in the seat, you're, you're able to choose controls and it'll, it'll all work. So you get in your seat. Is the green light on? Yes. Shift is to accelerate. S is to pull up. A and D are to roll both sides. And W is to push down. Now like I said guys, this is a pretty simple plane. Pretty easy. Um, it's not really hard to make. And it's just a start on what you can do. So yeah. Um, hope you like it. And good luck in the future of Garage Mod. Rate, subscribe, comment for more tutorials and I'll try to do that. Okay? Cool.